Hey friends, it is Tanya at Thrifty Treasures, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you nine sales that I had on Etsy from November and also this month, December. And so it's nine items that sold for $262.50. So let's jump right into it. Now I'm trying to get my picture to float on top. We'll see if it works. If not, I might have to stop for a second and try and figure things out. It's been a while since I've made a video, you guys, <laughs> but I'm happy to be back. I missed y'all. Okay, so let me see if we can make this a little bit bigger. Okay. There we go. Now hopefully, let's see, view, float on top. Hopefully that works. <laughs> okay, so the first item is a vintage 90s Indiana Pacers yellow pullover windbreaker pro player XXL NBA. So this, I do believe I picked this up at Goodwill. I think it was probably about $6. And I have probably had this for like two years. I'm not even kidding. I had it forever. Um, and it finally sold for $33.50. Now keep in mind the prices that I'm giving you that these items sold for. Um, it also includes shipping as well. I believe this uh, shipped first class. So it probably, I probably only charged about $3.50, $3.50 for shipping. Okay, so the next item is a vintage sheriff white reptile crossbody handbag purse with jeweled ram closure. Now this one, I mean, I know, look at my background, right? My blackboards, you can see they have creases on them. It's probably time to go buy some new blackboards, you guys. Uh, but it got the job done. So this is super cute little um, purse with a little ram closure. Isn't he cute? And he had like a little emerald green eye, a little jeweled eye. And um, really unique looking little purse there. Also picked that up at Goodwill. It looks like I might have forgot <laughs> to get the marker there and take that off. Oopsie doopsie. So it looks like I paid up for that item. I probably paid six, seven, eight. It looks like I paid about seven bucks for that. But it sold for, let's see what it sold for, also $33.50. So um, again, it probably sold for $30 and I charged $3.50 first class shipping for this item. So really cute little purse there. Okay, the next item is a vintage glass baked milk glass coffee mug cup souvenir Cafe du Monde, New Orleans, Nylons. So this I probably pay, gosh, maybe 50 cents or a dollar for it. I can't remember exactly. Um, even where I got it to tell you the truth and it sold for $22.95 So not too bad. I live in Texas and um, I believe this did go to somebody in Louisiana So the shipping wasn't that much uh, I find that the closer they are to me toward to me the uh, cheaper the shipping is that makes sense, right? <laughs> okay, so let me just show you guys all the pictures of this Mug. I love to pick up mugs because they're super cheap and they're easy to ship. Um, I usually do a box in a box method with uh, the peanuts as well as bubble wrap. And um, ever since I started using that method of shipping, I've not had any problems. Okay, so the next item is a piece of jewelry. It is a vintage Eisenberg Ice Snowflake brooch pin. Uh, this one. And there you can see the uh, maker's mark right there. It says Eisenberg Ice. This one, I think I maybe paid a quarter for this at a garage sale, maybe even less than a quarter because it seems like I got a whole box of stuff for a quarter. So um, I don't know, maybe five cents I paid for this brooch. So, and it sold for $32.50. Um, again, my shipping on Etsy with the jewelry is set um, to go at a flat rate at $350, first class shipping. So that is probably what I charge for this item too but really pretty snowflake. I'm so glad I went ahead and got this listed and it sold this year. <laughs> okay, the next item, now this is something I probably had for about a year as well. It is um, a vintage plush cat shelf sitter, yellow black groovy floral fabric stuffed animal. He was super cute, probably about 24 inches tall. Um, almost could have been used like as a door stopper if um, you guys remember what those are. But uh, I think I paid maybe two or three dollars for this at the Goodwill, and it sold for thirty-six dollars and ninety-four cents. 
and let's just look at some of the other pictures. Really cute, definitely uh, probably from the 60s or 70s. You can tell by the, um, the print on the fabric there. Really cute little cat. Super cute. Okay, so let's see what's the next item. This one, oh my goodness, this one I probably had on Etsy for like four years or more. I'm not even kidding. Um, I don't even really have that many items up on Etsy, maybe a hundred at the most, if even that many. So um, selling nine items in a time period of two months, November and December, is really kind of a lot for my Etsy shop. So um, I do want to definitely ramp that up some and get some more stuff listed over there. I really wish I would have done a lot more before uh, this fourth quarter, you guys. So the beginning of next year, um, you know, my goal is going to be to get a lot of this stuff listed. So I'm not stressing out so much during fourth quarter, right? And, you know, it's so true what they say. All the things sell fourth quarter. They really do. Like, for example, today, okay, I'm getting a little off track. But so I've had a two zombie Monopoly games up on Amazon, FBA, probably sitting there for a year. And they didn't even sell at Halloween time, but both of them sold during Christmas time. So it just goes to show you that all the things sell uh, fourth quarter. Okay, so let me get back on track here. So this is a beautiful gold tone leaf cluster brooch pin by Charfari. And it's uh, definitely vintage and it sold for $15.45. So um, again, it probably sold for about $11 with the $3.50 shipping. Let's look at some of the pictures. So there is the maker's mark right there. And you can see, let me go down here. See, that's another little sign that lets you know that it's vintage because it has the crown over the T right there, crown trafari. So, oopsie, let me come back down. Okay. Yeah, that was all the pictures. Okay. The next item is a vintage coro amber loose light clip on earrings. These are really pretty earrings. Uh, they sold for $26.66. So they probably sold for about $23 with $3.50 for shipping first class. And this is the back of them. And again, um, you guys, I always uh, cross post most of my items on Poshmark uh, and Macari and Etsy as well. Um, I'll be having some sales updates coming out for those platforms uh, pretty soon too. I'm loving Macari right now. It's really where the bulk of all my um, reseller income is coming from right now. So uh, I can't wait to bring that to you guys and show you. Okay. Uh, oops, wrong button, Tanya. Okay, so the next item is a vintage Texas Longhorns hook'em shirt. So this was made like of 100% polyester, definitely vintage. And I did pick this up at Goodwill. It was $6. And um, it sold pretty quick. So like I think I just picked it up either at the beginning of this month or end of last month. So a really fast turnover. And it sold for $42.50, which is really good. And I do believe I charged $3.50 shipping for this. So definitely shipped first class. So, and I don't, did I include some other pictures? Maybe I did. There's the label. You can see it was really, really old. It's so funny. Like, I can tell when I listed something by the, my nail color. Isn't that crazy? Do you ladies know what I'm talking about? Like, I can tell how long something's been listed just by my nail color or what kind of nails I'm wearing, right? That is so funny. So, looking at this, it was probably more like the beginning of November because my nails are kind of a orangey Thanksgiving -y brown color. <laughs> That's funny. That might be TMI, but I thought it was funny. Okay, so here's, yeah, here's the pictures. All right, so the last item, this this just sold this morning. This is a vintage alpaca Mexico silver tone enamel inlaid butterfly child baby cuff bracelet jewelry. Got to get those keywords in. So this was definitely child size. I tried putting it on my wrist, and I have a pretty tiny wrist. Um, it definitely didn't fit me. I do believe it was made for um, a child, you know, or a toddler. And let's see if I included some other pictures. Really pretty. I love that butterfly. I so wish it would have fit me. Um, but I'm really kind of more of a gold girl uh, with my skin tone and my hair color. Gold kind of probably looks best on me than silver. But I still like to wear silver sometimes too. 
Um, so this sold for $18.50. And so that means it probably sold for about $14. And I charged $3.50 for shipping for jewelry, flat rate for jewelry for this. And um, yeah, somebody's going to get a really pretty little bracelet for their child. So that is my, um, those are my Etsy sales for the past two months. I know it's not a lot. It's only nine sales, but for me, <laughs> for Etsy, that is a lot. Um, other people like my good friend, Angie, she is dazzled by vintage here on Etsy and she does amazing. She's got like a thousand items almost listed here on Etsy and she does really well. Um, I believe Etsy's the only platform she sells on too. So and I know she's probably just killing it last month and this month with sales. So hopefully she will be coming out with a sales update too. Because I always love to see what she's selling. Um, her pictures are always really pretty too. So um, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. It's so good to be back and talking with you guys. Um, I hope everyone has a Merry Christmas. Um, and let me know what your plans are for Christmas. I'd love to hear about it. You know, what you're doing. What are you selling that's big uh, this Q4? Let me know. So um, we, we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, everybody.